Hi, today on Green Christendom, we're going to be saving some seeds. So, I've got a spaghetti squash that I got from the store. The other day, one of the gardeners in a neighboring plot gave me a spaghetti squash, and my wife liked it. I think it might have been a little bit uh, green, so I'm going to save some seed from this squash that I got from the store. And also, I've got a melon. This is a Sun Jewel melon, got it from the farmer's market. I'm going to give it a try, and if we like it, I'm going to save the seeds from this too. So, let's cut them up. Give them a wash first. Be careful with your knife. Get a bowl and scoop them out with a spoon. Okay, got the melon, got the seeds. Let's give it a try. Mmm, sweet. Okay. Yeah, I want to save these melon seeds. What do you think? They are sweet. Good. Okay. Mm, that was a pretty good melon. Nice and sweet. Probably shouldn't eat a melon all in one setting, like we pretty much did. Well, I pretty much did. Remember to compost the scraps. All these scraps are black gold to a gardener. Make great compost. I will put these in my compost bucket, and I will rinse off this cutting board. And... I will get back to you with the spaghetti squash. Okay, now we're going to cut up the spaghetti squash. I'll get back to you. Okay, so got the squash cup it cut up into a couple pieces. Slightly uneven. I have to work on my 
cutting method. I'll probably cut this up in a couple more before I cook it. But for now, let's get the seeds out. Okay, got another bowl. Same thing. I will scoop it out with the spoon. Rinse the melon juice off first. All right, let's move over to the sink and let's rinse these seeds off. If the seeds were a little closer, you might want to label them first, but I recognize the difference. These are more kind of pumpkin seed-like, these are more melon seed-like, so. You are doing two kinds of melons, or or two kinds of kinds of squash. Then you definitely want to make sure you kept the seeds separate and plant them separate too a little bit, especially from the spaghetti squash with related squashes like stuff because you might get some weird squ uh, weird crosses. Might get this spaghetti a squash flesh and a different kind of squashes outside. So turn on the cool membrane off. Right, and we'll get some paper towels. Okay, got those on the paper towel. Show you them in a second. First, let's get these melon seeds. Ooh. Actually, those holes look a little too small. So, yeah. You're going to have to use a different strainer. Okay, this strainer should work. It's going to kind of
take some of this pulp out, shake the seeds off. Rub them against the side gently. That should separate them pretty well. If there's any really small, really thin seeds in here, they're probably not viable. Hopefully this was a mature enough melon. Some of them seem thick enough, maybe. Well, they seem pretty small. We shall see when we plant them. Which I'm not going to be doing any time. Soon. Probably next year. All right. So here I've got the spaghetti squash and the sun jewel melon seed laid out on some paper towels. The little bit, uh, last bits of pulp to pulled out. And I will let these dry. And then I will put them in an envelope. I'm going to cook the butternut squash. We'll see how it turns out. All right, so here's my spaghetti squash. Just scrape it, and it comes out kind of spaghetti-like. Wife really thought it tasted good last time. That's why I will grow it someday. I put some olive oil on the spaghetti squash, put it in the oven about 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. Might not need quite that long. And I'm going to put some salt and pepper on this, some spaghetti sauce. We're going to enjoy it. All right, here's the seeds. They've dried out and are ready to be put in some envelopes. Okay, I got them in envelopes. Make sure to put what they are, the name of the variety, and the date so that you remember when you save them and keep them in a cool dry place until you're ready to plant them. So I hope you all enjoyed my video on saving squash and melon seeds. Hopefully this will inspire you to save some seed from your own or propagate some plants from your own produce. Looked into it a little bit and I found out that the melon, the sun jewel melon, is from Korea. And there it's used both in some sweet and some savory dishes. So it'll be an interesting fruit to look into for its culinary applications.
Anyhow, encouraging you to find ways to become more self-sufficient in providing for yourself and for your families, and unplugging to some little degree, as much you can, from our agricultural industrial complex. And to thus find ways you could be more sustainable and care for God's good, beautiful, and wonderful gift of creation. God bless, and have a good day.